If you've ever wondered, I've got all this knowledge that I know can really help people, but how do I make sure that people will pay for my services? Well, this episode is for you. So if you're a coach, a consultant, or thinking of starting any service-based business, and you're unsure how to package your expertise into an effective offer to sell, then you're gonna wanna stay tuned to keep watching this video because what I'm gonna be teaching you is going to help you to get clients fast. Hey, I'm Lydia Lee. I'm a work reinvention coach and a small business strategist, and this channel is dedicated to helping you build a life and business that feels like you. Now, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell button so that you're the first to know of every single video that I film every single week. Now, in the last seven years of working with all different types of service-based business owners, I can tell you that being able to package your expertise into an effective offer to sell is one of the most important things to help you to earn more and build a sustainable business. Now, doing this has helped a lot of my clients who are consultants, coaches, web designers, nutritionists, right? Um, to really not only feel confident about what it is that they're selling, but to stop charging hour by hour and instead to build a valuable and packaged experience that people actually wanna buy. So now it's your turn and I can't wait to walk you through some of these steps. All right, step one to be able to package your expertise into an offer is first you have to start to create a service roadmap that leads your clients to results. You think about this kind of like a flight plan, right? For your clients, there's something, a destination that they really want to get to and you are the vessel, right? You are the solution that helps them to get there. Now, all our clients have a big core problem that they want to solve, right? So for example, if you're a health coach, right? A big core problem could be that your client Clients want to live healthier, more vibrant lives and just feel more energized in their lives. But that is kind of the holy grail, the end of the, the part of the end of the rainbow. And we have a, so a job to do, actually, to lead them to there. It's not a one step process. So we have to figure out by reverse engineering, if we want to get them to feeling healthier, more vibrant, more energized in their lives, what do we need to do to help them to get there? What don't they know? What other problems do they have? What are these skills or knowledge gaps or actions, right, that they need to actually be doing in their lives to get to those results and how am I gonna get them there? So there's a core problem, which is that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but there are also many problems along the way. And these are things that I call milestones. There are always milestones or flag posts of things that you have to do in order to get your clients there. So using the example of a health coach again, now what are some of the, prob the problems that her customer could be having? Well, they may not know how to eat for their body type. They might not have a great daily routine that helps them to have self-care uh, and a much more uh, grounded way to start the day and that's why they're not living healthy lives. It could also be the fact that they are really stressed out and they're not sleeping well. And that's also part of the problem of what's leading them to not have a healthy life. So whatever it is that are these milestones, you need to be able to figure out what they are. And these are many problems or many milestones that you have to figure out that's going to be part of your flight plan. Now, if you're not really sure what these many problems are, or even what the main core problem that your ideal customers are facing, what's the best? way to know that answer well you've got to ask and you've got to ask from the horse's mouth which are direct conversations with your clients now if you haven't done that already that could be why you're feeling fuzzy about what to offer and I filmed another video right over here that you can actually watch after watching this one in order to learn the three steps to validate your business idea before you launch, but also it shows you how to create a bit of an asking campaign and start getting real answers to know what it is that you need to create for your clients. The second step after you have designed your customer service roadmap or your flight plan, right, for the journey of your clients, you want to start looking into designing your unique framework, what it is that you do do in your system, your unique system to be able to bring people to results. And this is really, really, really unique to you because the way that you would approach solving that problem or the way that you would approach the tools or resources or modalities that you might use might be different from someone else that might be doing what you're doing. So the really important point here I want to make is that when your clients really want to buy a system, they just don't want to buy your hour 
of your session or an hour of your time. They want to be able to buy a full-fledged package, right, of an experience that if done with you throughout a certain amount of time, they're going to have a really effective way to get to the results and get there faster, happier, and more easily, right? That's the value of what people are buying. So you do need to design a system that's very unique to you and the a way that you want to do things. So your framework are things like your concepts that you really believe in, right? Like using, again, the example of a health coach, like your concept may be different from another health coach, which might be bringing their clients into fitting into their bikinis for the summer. And it's like a quick and dirty hustle, hacky way of getting there. And you don't, you're not that kind of health coach and you're more holistic, right? And let's say your holistic way is really starting from the inside out, really starting to get your clients to love their bodies better, to understand that their weight is not who is what defines their identity, right? It's helping them love themselves more. And that if they saw themselves in a different light, then it makes all the things like eating right and wanting to actually feel their body with better nutrition is going to feel a lot and a whole lot better, right? So what is your approach? Approach. What are these concepts, these philosophies that you believe in that are non-negotiable for every single client that's about to work with you? And that way, when you're able to describe these philosophies in your framework, you're also attracting a much more ideal client that's aligned with those values too. So you don't feel like a mismatch with a client that may want to approach it in a different way. So the, your framework also includes things like your modality. So modalities are things that you've learned. Maybe you've been certified in a particular type of training. Uh, maybe you, you, you've been a yoga instructor, right? You are someone that knows, have other tools in your tool belt that you're going to bring to the table in order to solve some of these problems for your clients. Maybe you're a mindfulness um, expert as well and bringing that modality into health and nutrition can really help you to really beef up the value of what you do, right? That's a really cool way. So for all of you that might be feeling, God, I've got all these multi-passionate skills and tools in my back, you know, the corner of my, my myself that I really want to produce and I just don't want to pick one. Well, this is a way to really add that into your framework. So all of this framework is really your unique value you that creates this system of how you solve this problem, what it is that you include and a process of what it really takes to get your clients to the kind of results that you can really believe in. So I want to share, I want you to share actually what you think after um, really hearing about the importance of a framework. So comment below to let me know if you agree that a framework is really important to help you to stand out in your work and be different from everyone else. And if you were to think about your framework, right, your concepts, your philosophies, your process, the modalities, right? Things that you want to really include as your ingredients of your framework. What are some of those things that makes you unique and special? Now, after you've gotten real clear on your service map, right? Or your flight plan and the framework of what it is that you are going to do in order to get people to results, right? The third step is to really think about selling the benefits and not just the features of your offer. Now this might, you know, doing all that work that I just talked about will lead you to thinking about duration and thinking about how long will it take me to do all these things, right? Is it a three month program? Is it a four week program? Is it actually a six month experience that allows me to do my best work? And then the next step is you want to start telling people about this offer and talking to people what, about whether or not this offer is a good fit for some of their problems that they're having. And very likely you're going to talk about that duration. You'll talk about how long it takes to coach with you or mentor with you and how, what the price is and all those different things. Right. But I want to encourage you to really actually, before you do that and start selling this offer is to really think about these benefits and what are benefits, right? Features, for example, what are features versus benefits? Features are basically things that uh, are including in the experience of your offer, whether you offer one-on-one -on -one calls or maybe there's a course that's included or in-between support or duration of time. And of course, the price of the program, right? Those are all your features, but the benefits are what your clients are really looking for. What can I achieve? What changes in my life? What is that bigger transformation I'm actually buying from you, right? So I know with service-based uh, providers, that, that can sometimes be a difficult thing for them to articulate because they kind of feel like they are selling the invisible. Do you feel that way sometimes as a service-based provider? Because what you do sometimes isn't as tangible, right? You can't really see that transformation. It's felt within and things happen, you know, in the experience of working with people. And it's so hard 
hard to articulate that, right? And so one of the things that I always love to coach my clients on is that we have to quantify the value of your service, right? Not just about what they can see, but what is being felt. So how do we quantify value uh, in a service that sometimes isn't feel that's quite intangible, right? And not really easy to see all the time. Well, we want to think about how does it change things for your clients physically, right? Again, using the example of the nutritionist, what happens to their body, not just in their weight, but how they feel about themselves, right? How confident they might be in acceptance of their body type and who they are in the world. Um, you want to think about psychologically, how are you changing your customer's mindset, right? Their perspectives, you know, how they see the world. All of that is huge value in the work that you're doing with them. You want to also think about how your offer and your service really transforms their circumstance. What are they now able to do after the work is done with them, right? So if, again, using the example of the health coach, if they're feeling better, they're much more energized, now what can they do? Well, they're going to actually get out there, you know, and do more of the things that they love. They can chase after their children without being exhausted. They're going to feel less grumpy and reactive and then binge eating and emotional eating because they feel good in their body. So circumstantially, lots of things can be kind of a ripple effect, right, of what happens after they are working with you and get certain benefits benefits, even as a domino effect of after they finish working with you. And then really also think about things like spiritual transformation, right? So if you're uh, feeling that part of your work is meaningful in such a way that it causes people to think differently about, you know, engaging with their soul, engaging with their spirit, being more at one and grounded with themselves, that is a value, not tangible, something you can see right away, but absolutely felt. And that can be very much a part of what they are also buying to ensure that their inner world is feeling calm and at ease. So think about these concrete examples that your clients can't refuse. Stop talking about the offer features and start really talking about these concrete outcomes that are going to be the benefits that's going to really help your clients understand what they're investing in. And then, then they can't wait to really just take out their credit card and really buy that system and that experience with you. Now that you've learned some of the steps to be able to package your expertise into an effective offer to sell, I want to dig even deeper with you by offering you a handy guide and a free checklist so that you know some of the most important elements that you need to include in your offer to be able to create an irresistible offer that people can't refuse. So you can download it for free right here and you can be able to get started on creating your offer today. If you found this video helpful for you today, please give me a thumbs up or a like underneath this video. And don't forget to check out this previous video that I filmed. That's going to be very helpful for you. If you haven't yet figured out what are those problems that you really need to solve in your business, because it's going to be able to help you uh, to ask the right questions to the right people and be able to really gather your thoughts and gather your ideas and validate them before you actually start launching. It's going to help you to do some of the work we are talking about today. Thank you so very much for joining me. And again, if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe and the notification bell button because I produce a brand new video here for you every single week and I want to make sure you get it. And if you found everything helpful today for you, please share the video with someone that you care about. Uh, and I can't wait to see you again next week.